What's up, your squad? Welcome back to another Bone Beach Warships video. As you can see, guys, uh, we finally got the season 34 tech tree plan. And first of all, I want to say thank you to Skull Crusher for providing me the tech tree plan for this season. So I'm able to make a little bit of a plan for myself and hopefully help you guys on your tech tree plans and choices and everything so as you can see like usual we start with the gunboat energy and landing crafts unlocked right away this time we have cannons available right away we have the Flares, snipers, and the first troop over here is gonna be a warrior. Best defense against warrior, splash damage, plus mines. We have mines right above the warriors for 18 keys. And to be honest, 18 keys, that's one key more than the diamond value, diamond chest value this season. We're gonna have 17 keys in diamond chest this season. So it's gonna be a really, really interesting, especially since it's four week season. So we'll see how all that goes. So I'm gonna start with my plan and plan on how one of my accounts is gonna go. That's probably gonna be either my mini or my main account, the one that finished in legendary and the one that has the most of the keys. I'm gonna have two legendary accounts so i'm gonna have two accounts starting at the same rank with the same amount of keys so i'm gonna try and do different paths on those and one of them is gonna go with the warriors and smoke zuko's third engine room reason why i think warriors are gonna be really really good and they're gonna wreck most of the bases and reason why i'm gonna go through the smoke is so i can flare them past the defenses and straight into the engine rooms but we'll see maybe that's not gonna be the thing that's why my other account is gonna go for mines mortars multi-node i'm gonna probably pick double cannon over there troop damage and then the next engine room after that i'm gonna go for so i'm gonna go back on one of the first account i'm gonna go with the flamethrowers troop health troop health is gonna be huge versus those green mines because it takes i think either six or seven maxed mines to take out warriors after that i'm gonna go straight through the medics and all the way to heavies reason why if i start failing with the warriors i'm gonna start using heavies so that's gonna be the main thing after that i'm gonna go for tanks and i think barrage in case I can grab myself the rank 16 and the gold chest, I'm going to be able to unlock myself barrage right away. So I can clear the mines and everything else. In case I have more than enough keys to max out my barrage, I'm probably going to do it. Especially since there is first building help mode right over there before the four engine rooms. So maxed out barrage is going to be really, really good. After that, I'm going to save up for the four engine rooms and then go for the machine guns. After machine guns, we get the troop damage. We also have a troop damage way over here above the third engine room. So that's already 100% troop damage. Then I'm going to go multi-node, probably with the double boom cannon. And then building damage, shock launchers. And probably before I go over there, well, actually, I have to go down this path and unlock the so this is where they made a little bit of mistake so you have to grab something different or me maybe we can take a different path i don't know does that connect the rifleman does do they connect with the multi-node over there i think that they do so Maybe through that we can grab the multi-node over here, then boom cannons. But if you pick the top route, you have to pick something different, either sniper towers or the mortars. So I'm going to try and I will see how the keys are going to go over there. After that, it's going to be straight to five engine rooms. 
after picking myself the boom cannons and the critters i'm gonna go for five engine rooms critters are gonna be really really good on either distracting defenses or crittering one er if it's not protected that well then medkits after medkits i'm gonna go for multi-node simo boom surprise grappler probably for simo for a little bit and after that shock mons and six engine rooms reason why i'm gonna go through the, for the six engine rooms as soon as possible because it has a little bit more a little bit better layout we will go through the layouts really really fast really really soon and then i'm gonna go for the artillery heavy choppers gb and seekers seekers are gonna be really really good if you can grab them a little bit faster this season so we will see how all that goes then it's all about seven engine rooms building health and all the good stuff after that so here's the layouts to yours over here again worship scully thank you again for providing me this so i'm able to make myself a plan three yards a little bit better than two yards a little bit more spread out four yards we have two ramps so four yards is not gonna be a really really good advantage over the three yards maybe even worse than three yards five yards a little bit better i think because we have all those yards way over there then six yards this is the six yard layout that i was talking about only one ramp and we have to go through the whole map probably trying to and i think i we already had something similar on couple season before with this layout and then seven engine rooms still wide open layout so i don't know maybe 6 36 is gonna be a little bit better than the full seven but full seven is gonna have that extra building health so we will see how all that pays up at the end these are the stats for the season we have 150 50 percent troop damage 100 percent building health 200 percent gb 100 percent troop health and only 50 percent building damage so i think again this is gonna be a really really good season see uh, for seekers but we will have a couple weeks off before somebody actually has those seekers so they can test it on those different layouts and those are the free tokens this is a schedule on how we are gonna receive those april 25th 100k upgrade tokens 28th we get 10 unlock keys and this is by date and time and everything on how we're gonna receive all that so that's gonna wrap up the video for today guys i hope this is gonna help you at least a little bit make sure hit that subscribe button if you're new hit the like button comment down below and i'll see you guys on tomorrow's video yo yo out peace